In this video, we are going to learn about how to update SAP Fiori role if the existing catalog has been modified by the Fiori developers. To demonstrate this, I have taken an example of account payable account and task role where we have added a Manage Payment Media app to the Payments group. As you can see in the Fiori Launchpad, the only tile which is mapped to the Payment group is Manage Payment Media. Now, we would try to add couple of apps which are revise payment proposal and manage automatic payment to the catalog and we would see that how to incorporate the changes done to the catalog in a Fiori role. In the, in the Launchpad Content Manager, we will search for the catalog where we want to make the changes and then try to add the Fiori tiles to it. Similarly, we would add the other tile as well to the catalog. Since I already know the tiles which I am uh, trying to add, I would directly search for, for the with the SAP Fiori ID. After making the changes to the catalog, we would try to add these tiles to the group payments group. And we can directly log go to the Launchpad designer from, uh, from the Launchpad content manager itself. We would look for the group where we want to update this changes to the tiles. We would add the ties which we have just updated for the catalog. As you can see the revised payment proposal as well as the managed automatic payment has come up and we'll just add to the payment group. After performing the changes to the catalog and group, it's time to update the SAP Fiori role to incorporate these changes. This can be done in two ways. If we are doing for the rows in masses, we can go to the program The program to update is PRG and compare role menu and you can execute it directly. Enter the role where we would like to make the changes. Also we would need to enter the catalog ID in order to update those catalog. Once you execute it, you would get to know the changes which are coming in you know, because of the tiles which we have just added. As you can see in the comparison that these are the services which has remained unchanged and these are the services which has come as new. We would need to adapt these changes to the existing role so that the tiles which have been added can be maintained for the respective authorizations. You can directly select it and adapt it to the to the menu and then you can perform the role change. The other way would be 
you can directly go to the role and once you go into the change mode after clicking on the catalog and once you click on details you would see the the details of the services which has come as new if you are doing in masses you can do through the program se38 and going to the prg and compare role menu and if you are doing for the individual rows you can adopt this way in order to incorporate the role changes at the authorization level for the services which has which are coming as new since our, since we are doing it for the single role we'll just use this method and then we would maintain the authorization data Since I'm doing it for a testing purpose, it's just for a demo and uh, then I'm maintaining the star values at the org level and even at the authorization field levels. Once you have done the changes, you can just refresh your uh, Fiori Launchpad homepage and you would see that changes have come up. And here is the result what we wanted to achieve. And, and I hope you get to know that there are two ways in order to incorporate the role changes for the Fiori catalog which has been modified. The first is directly through the PFCG role. The other way is using the PRG and compare role menu program. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you to understand how to update roles when the catalog has been updated.